and welcome back to Pluto Personified's Black Royal Crown Part 2. Now, I'm currently just cloning the gemstones around the crown as you may have seen in Part 1. I decided to show this again just in case you don't remember, in case it's been a while since you watched part one. Just a few minutes. It's gonna take a bit. I'm almost done though. Now I start reselecting the middle gemstone because after looking at the store again, I realize that it is horizontal, not vertical. So I go ahead, select all the blue stuff right there, and soon enough, I'll turn it vertical. Soon enough, I start manipulating the object to make it look a bit bigger. Instead of just really, 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 really skinny. Of course, I have to move it back into place properly because my manipulating skills are not symmetrical. As you can see here, I am currently selecting the entire crown because it doesn't look about right. I move it down, I manipulate it so the bottom part or base part would show because what's the use, what's the use of having something that won't show, right? Now I start editing the torso. In the final product, you'll be able to see that there is a pearl necklace on the shoulders with another gemstone on it. Now, if you play Rec Room and use the Maker Pen before, it is not easy to create a perfectly spherical circle. So I put on uniform shapes.
Now, I use the clone object and because it's not really easy to put perfectly, exactly the same size, so I use the clone object. Now, you can see here I'm trying to make the gemstone again, but me being me, I forget I have uniform shapes off, so I go ahead and take it off. Now, I start creating another cylinder to start the gem off, the same way I did with the one on the crown. I deleted it a few times, but I eventually got it. I may have said this in the last video, but I want to say it again. Grid is really helpful. Now, you don't have to use grid. I just like it personally, but you could do it any way you want. I just prefer grid. Of course I have to move it in place. I can't just let that entire gem float around in nothingness. Now, I wanted to add a little bit of black gems, just to make it better, but then I lost my hat. I don't care. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna put it on and see how it looks. Of course, I can't see anything in the mirror, but that's fine. I could still see it on myself. Now here, I can just move stuff out of the way. Don't mind me. I move out the eagle wings first, because why not? And I grab out the stadium, then I grab out another one of these stadiums, and I grab a dress, the cottage maiden, and then I grab the wedding dress, or a big B, B dress, sorry. After I move all this Mr. Lonely stuff out of the way, I can go ahead and get my share camera. Of course, I forgot that I didn't move my crown up here to take a photo of it, and now I go ahead and take it. Of course, I finally move it over here because I have to, to take a proper photo of it. I find my camera again, grab it, oh, it's taking a photo, 
take a photo of it, share it, because why not? I share a bunch of stuff. And then I go into one of my saved outfits and take a photo of it. Of me in my saved outfit with the crown on. Of course, I didn't know why, but I did it anyway. I thought it went with each other. So I go ahead and grab my maker pen, forget everything, and then I create another wall. So it doesn't show my basic, uh, my basic dorm room wall because it would look a lot better if it wasn't my basic dorm room wall. Here I use my camera as a guide to make it look better because of course we're going to be using the camera so might as well look, make it look as best as I can. I go ahead and go back into my palette and choose white. I recolor it all because I thought black wouldn't really go well. And I just have to create a literally a blinding white. Of course, here I go. Now, of course I accidentally moved it and I'm currently moving it again to fix it. I accidentally grabbed it, but now it's fixed. Might as well go with it. No, don't make that your profile. Oh well, oh well, seriously. I go ahead and I broke it again. That's epic. Now, I just have to move it again. Of course it's not symmetrical, but it'll have to work. I go ahead and grab my maker pen again, and I move the dummy. I grab my maker pen again. I finally freeze the white wall. The white wall, hehe. <laughs> anyway, I take off the crown, and I move the camera, so I could see the actual crown and move back into place to take a photo with it. I mentioned in the last video that I would take a lot of photos with this and there is way more than I am showing you. That's it. Bye again.